There's a deep need in Newark for art education. The Newark School of the Arts was created to provide sequential art learning and teaching in four disciplines, dance, music, drama, and visual arts. Despite the, the lack of um, arts education that may be going on in the public schools, we're still here to fill that gap. And we, by us offering the whole gamut of, of, of arts education that we do, from learning to play an instrument, from dance, drama, and, and art itself. Uh, so we fill that gap, and that's still the important, I think, thing that people are looking for. I think the arts actually is the only same thing in society. I think it just does so much for the person. I've seen growth in these students, not only in the talent, but in their confidence level. And I think that's more important almost than the talent itself. Well, I started the school in, in uh, February of 1968, not too far from this location here, up at a church up on uh, High Street. And Mrs. Stella Lass, one of the co-founders, started out teaching piano lessons there. She had a violin teacher and I think a flute teacher. That was kind of the nucleus of the uh, of the school, the lessons that they offered. And I came on board and caught the vision that there was nothing like it in the area where they were offering uh, professional lessons to, to, to kids uh, and uh, adults also. And I think one of the uh, uh, motivations for them starting the school was the, the Newark riots that took place. They, they got the conception of that, well, it should have something uh, for the arts, uh, that for um, um, you know, low-income people and inner-city people. So to me, Newark is a city, and it's an artistic city. And I had said a long time ago that when I got off the train here for the first time, back in the day, I felt an artistic vibe. I felt something special. Arts had been an important part of the uh, public education system, but when that was gone, it, you know, it, it, it really created a big gap and a uh, void presence of this school in the city really helped to uh, give people hope. That was the goal of, of the school that, that uh, you know, that got them initially to found the, the whole organization, uh, uh, the kids, the whole artistic cultural <laughs> environment. I think Mr. Davis and uh, Miss Lass probably saw that these students were like the young and the restless. And um, so they, they came up with this vision. The children of Newark could not see above ground level. Family problems, community problems, certainly the amount of crime that we see here. A child can only evolve when they have good things in their life. If you have beauty being poured in, beauty comes out. If you hear beautiful sound all the time, beautiful sound will come out. If you're looking at beautiful things, you'll make the choices for beautiful things. Exposure is the name of the game. And those families and those people that expose themselves and their children to the arts are the better for it. And I think that was our saving grace growing up in the inner city, music. Nobody was in jail, nobody was doing drugs. No, we were just, uh, uh, you know, carefree and involved in the arts. The school has a wonderful reputation of, um, by, the, by everyone who comes in here, they comment about the feeling in the school. And we're very proud of that, that feeling. There's a wonderful history of um, artists who have gone to this school and gone on to great careers. But we're also here for everybody. The school is open to anybody, whether they feel they have talent or not. I started at North School of Arts when I was about 10 years old. Went to Arts High School, went to New England Conservatory of Music. When I think about my accomplishments and just the things that I've done like artistically, this school was pretty seminal in my journey. So I mean, it all starts here for me. Without this school, I, I wouldn't be the musician I am. And I still see some of the people that went here as as a child, as children, and now they're adults, and and they're good. You know what I'm saying? They're good citizens. And if the school can do something that's going to create good citizens, we can't get enough of good citizens in the world, not just in Newark. The Newark School of the Arts is based on love. Now I have been involved with all of the top music schools, but there is a kind of love here 
and a kind of dedication that you are not going to find any place else in New Jersey. I just can't praise this school enough, I really can't, for what it's been to the people. It would be a travesty if this school were not here in this city. To know that there's something in the heart of Newark to help our children of the future to escape the everyday is fantastic.